they played the Saints week one, okay? Jameis Winston, how many, what did he throw? Five touchdowns in that game? Yeah. Yes. What did he do the next week? Yeah. <laughs> so it's more, it's a team sport too now. So right. the Green Bay Packers have some issues on defense that they have to address. Mm -hmm. They have to be better on defense. Mm -hmm. So Aaron Rodgers having the offseason and all the drama that was going on with the offseason, that first game that we all saw, that's why everyone jumped on that whole, oh, this is happening, it's over, it's over for Aaron Rodgers. No, 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 no. Granted, it's a, they just won against the Lions, and I don't think the Lions are going to be in the playoffs, and they're not going to make any noise this year. So it really didn't show me anything, like this team, where they at, because if they would have lost to the Lions, we would all have been going crazy. Mm -hmm. The demise is real. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out. And th this week against the 49ers, if they can travel, mm -hmm. if they can win a game on the road, mm -hmm. if Aaron Rodgers looks like he did against mm -hmm. the Lions, mm -hmm. against the 49ers, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. But it's too early to say that the demise is happening to Aaron Rodgers. First of all, put Tim Tebow up on this screen, y'all, <laughs> because I want Tim Tebow and Rob Nikovich all on the screen together because I'm going to get on both of y'all. Both of y'all, okay? I mean, y'all are ridiculous. First of all, let me get to you first, Rob. Okay. Even if Green Bay loses this week... We got questions about the Packers. We ain't going to have questions about Aaron Rodgers. Stop that. Okay, that's true, number one. True. Now let me get to Tim Tebow. Mr. Sensitivity here. What are you talking about the media? What happened? Who talked about the demise of Aaron Rodgers? The reigning league MVP, 37 years of age, fresh off of throwing 48 touchdowns, five interceptions. He has one bad game. What did we say? It was a bad game. We've never seen Aaron Rodgers that bad. What was the question about him? He's so disgusted with the Green Bay Packers situation and everything that transpired this offseason. Can they make this work? Because the relationship is up in the air. No one questioned the greatness of Aaron Rodgers at all. Nobody was thinking about questioning the greatness of Aaron Rodgers at all. So what about the media? What did the media do wrong? What did the media do, Tim? What did he do? They hyped it up like all of a sudden he just fell off a cliff when it's just one game. And by the way, the question we're asking right now is hyping it up. Was Aaron Rodgers' demise overhyped? That's still hyping it up. Well, that's let me what, ask you this question. A, a Tim, lot Tim of Tim times Tim. that's what a lot of... Hold on, Tim Tebow. Let me ask you this question. Yes, sir. When we sat up there and said that Aaron Rodgers, hit, it was the most atrocious game he has ever played in his career. He's never looked that bad. What we were saying was, wow. He's never looked that bad. He doesn't jump up in the air and throw passes. He doesn't throw the ball three feet behind a receiver. We don't see that from Aaron Rodgers. So in his first game, after all of this friction with his organization, we saw it. And because we point that out and we noticed it, we were sitting up there and saying, oh, it's over for Aaron. Nobody in the media said that about him. And Aaron Rodgers to stop acting like people said that about him because they did it. What they said was, look, things ain't great with you and the Green Bay Packers. You could be some. Everybody ain't as kind and sweet and as lovable as Tim Tebow. Everybody ain't as stoic with Super Bowl rings all over the place like Rob Nikovich. Some dudes, okay, some dudes might be so disgusted with a situation. Yeah, I want to play, but I damn, I can't stand looking at these people. That is possible, which is all anybody questioned. Yeah, but th the problem is, is when you take one game and then you say, hey, that one game is going to represent how we're going to view someone. It's the first game of the year. There's, it's one out of 17. Listen, the best players in the world have had bad games. I get it. It was one of A-Rod's worst games, but that happens. Guess what? He bounced back, and I think he's going to continue to bounce back, and also he'll find a way to get his, his team right. And I know there's been some turmoil there this offseason, but when you look at it, you can't just say, okay, that's one game, and then even ask the question, is he done? It's like when the people did that years ago about Tom Brady. Oh, they're one game, bad game against the Chiefs, and they're done. It's just not true. It's one bad game, right? That happens. Listen, we're not a Madden rating that every single game you're a 90 or you're an 89 or whatever rating, and that's how you show up every game. No, it's personal. It's relationships. It's game plans. It's, you know, they, they might have had a bad game plan where, you know, that's on the coaches too. It, it might have been, you know, there's 
there's so many things that go into um, how a team performs, right? That's also when we praise Tom Brady and, and, and the Patriots for the way they did it is because they were able to perform at such a high level over and over and over again. It is really hard to do. So when you have a team go up and down, guess what? That happens because, you know, the human nature comes into play. We're not always the same. It's not a Madden rating. Yeah, and I'm not questioning Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. and his ability because, listen, after that game, when he's winking at the reporter, right, he winked yeah. at him because he knew that he asked him the question he didn't like. Same wink he gave me when he beat me in 2014, okay? He looked at he me. That he way. looked at me, gave me a big blue eye wink. I said, oh, man, he knows I have him in mere coverage. This is in trouble. I'm in trouble because he's Aaron Rodgers. So I'm not questioning Aaron Rodgers. He's still got tons of talent. The only thing that we saw this, this offseason was the relationship between management did that affect the team chemistry between your the greatest player you have on the roster, right. the chemistry with the guys in the locker room, and the people upstairs? And by, and by the way, Molly, why should I have to listen to Tim Tebow? <laughs> he's got he's at a place now. They got Nick signs behind him. Yeah, I was actually waiting junk to about get my the New single York shot. Hold got on, the Tim. Hold on, hold on. Can we get a single? Can we get a single shot of Tim? Can I see that sign? The last time the Knicks won. Oh, that looks like that's for you, Stephen A. Tebow wasn't born. It is a hey, 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 you ask him why you should listen to me. You ask me to come on the show. You know what? He did this on purpose. He did this on purpose. I think Tim Tebow told him to place that sign right behind him. You understand what I'm saying? And he did it on out. purpose just to mess with me. Okay. All right. I, I got this. All right. You got your week, Tim. This is your week. It's the only week you're going to get this whole year. Okay? All it's right. the only week you're going to get. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.